Nana i Guinaizaku. Grandmother, my love. Hafade, my name is Bobby Cruz. I'm the grandmother of nine grandchildren. Hafade, Guangu Sirita Santos Cruz. Masabatu than she wanted say, Cruz, esta cinquenta y cuatro años. Twenty ocho is the mommy na nanetu the neta. Size from a good mommy na pura la lahi. Pues it is a mommy. Bisneta than bisnetu esta dies todos cabales. Half a day. Nanu se Jose Manabusan Velasco. Of an old guru, the Guam, the morning Guam, the Guam Memorial Hospital, the December Navy, 1957. Grandmothers are our first teachers. What did your grandmother teach you about the Chamorro culture? I do remember how my siblings and I would walk over to our village church, which is located in Chalampago, Guam, um, with our grandparents on Sundays and on weekdays to attend church services. The church that we would attend was located across my grandparents' home, so that's why we were able to walk there. After church services, we would visit with my grandparents at their home. It was customary for um, us to give them a kiss on their hand as a sign of respect and acknowledgement, and um, this tradition is still being practiced with my children and my grandchildren. Um, with some slight variations, because now it is uh, permissible for our grandkids to give us a peck on the cheek. My grandmother, Wanan Kadi Manbusan, was a very humble grandmother that taught us from right from wrong and to do the right thing as we grew up as little boys and little girls for my brothers and sisters. She um, is a very, very religious kind of person and he taught us to always pray and just do the right thing and to help out the elderly. And in the ways I'm my grandmother's, Carido means favorite in our language that anytime she asks anything for me to do, massage her or help her out, I'm there for her. That's why when I was growing up, nobody can touch me because my grandmother is my backer. And she is very humble and very respectful for people that does the right thing in life. Respecting our elders is one of the most important aspects in our Chamorro culture. Um, we were taught to honor the request and their authority without questioning them. What memories do you have of your grandmother? When I was younger, I would remember those times when I would um, watch my grandmother as she takes down her hair. She would always wear it up in a bun and she would use uh, what we call a comb. It's a piñata is what it's called to pick her hair up in a bun, but I watched her several times where she would have her hair down, and her hair was extremely long, gray, and beautiful. And that inspired me to wear my hair long for, um, for many years, and I also had my three daughters wear their hair long, because I just thought it was just something that was so beautiful, and it's a traditional thing for what we call ourselves chamaritas from Guam. The women, and our Aline would always wear their hair long, and that was one of their pride things to do. And, and I just thought it was something that I really will never forget, watching her caring for her hair. Grandmother was a great inspiration for me. I hold her dearly in my heart because she was the matriarch of, of the, the family uh, wealth, you know. She makes sure that it is handed down to all the women. Back in the days, it was the women who really hold on to the family wealth. It is not the husband. So I'm sorry to say that, but because that's how I was brought up, that's what I am carrying on to this day. It's just so sad that I don't have any daughters at all 
but I have passed it on to my group first granddaughter and uh, Serena has been very instrumental in carrying up our our family's wish you know and since he has already a daughter uh, Lohi and Lohi and um, Venetia are now on the top of the great grandchildren which are girls and their daughters so of course you know that 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 uh, tradition has to be handed out to them so they can spread it out to the other members of the family. In the days, back in the days, that was really hard. Things were not really up to what we wanted as, an, as a nation because right after the war, we were not allowed to speak our language at school. But how do we keep our language going and alive is by speaking it at home. No English language is spoken at home. It's all Chamorro, so we make sure that we know our our Chamorro language and that we keep our culture by, by our parents and our, our grandmother teaching us how to pray the rosary in Chamorro, how to say the novena in The Chamorro. days that we, um, as we move on, you know, even speaking tomorrow, looking inside the mirror is better than not speaking tomorrow at all. Why do we do that? Because we don't want our language to face out. We want to keep it, we want to pass it on to our children and our grandchildren. So right after I got married, we started raising our family, me and my husband, so we made sure that we speak tomorrow All my to brothers them. and sisters were lucky because we learned the language when we were growing up. The, my grandkids and my my kids, Joey, Selena, and Anna, learned it when they went to school because they were losing the Chamorro culture and the language. Because the gener their generation, they don't teach them that, they teach them English. And that's what we learned in school when I was going to school in high school and elementary is English. Because that was our language we were supposed to learn. But I was. I'm proud to be a Chamorro and I learned the language. I don't write the language, but I can speak it pretty fluently. I can teach some of my kids the main, like half a day, and how are you, total Malik is everything's okay. And it's a good greeting for the Chamorro. I remember many years ago when I, I believe I was entering into kindergarten, all my parents were told by the school officials that um, they would have to resort to speaking English at home uh, because my first language was tomorrow, believe it or not. And um, my, my parents were very good about that. They took heed to what the officials had told them. So I guess that was one of the reasons why I'm not very fluent in my native language. But on the other hand, my grandmother spoke very little English. So we would visit her very often, like I had mentioned earlier, on Sundays and holidays, and she would speak to us in Chamorro. And I, I was just so happy to hear her speak to us um, because I learned a lot of our language from her. Uh, my parents, though they spoke broken English, <laughs> um, my grandmother took it seriously when we were trying to speak and you know conversate with her in Chamorro. I would say things, you know, incorrectly and she would correct me and she would not poke fun at me or anything and I really, really love her for that. And um, she never discouraged me when it, you know, when it came to speaking in Chamorro. So I, I'm very thankful for her, for inspiring me to continue on and having faith in myself in her language. Grandmothers are carriers of culture. As a grandmother, how are you passing on our Chamorro culture to future generations, especially your grandchildren? Bye. Uh -huh.
that on there. That's so cute. <laughs> if you could thank your grandmother today, what would you say? I'm always going to be thankful for her always being there for me, for always having faith in me, for always leading me by her example, for always loving me, for just being there for me. I love you, Nana. Sizus ma asi Nana, then u guy to go mega guy. Thank you, Nana. Sizus ma asi. Adios. Si Nana, Nana, and si si Nana be a si Nana. I find out good to be respected here and to be to be for now we told you from a good new office here to find out like Gitano and baby sing on this year to do small city told you the better music by Hammy the man that don't clear me name from a goon maybe I'm in a from a goon uh, like a day she told you, he better mizu pa hami and put into hands on the doors, Anna and Wana, to be gagging in Tano and to be respect the todu, Imana and Mommy, Nimu Pomoxami todu gitano. So small, say, and an hour. Conversation with um, just a little bit of what I have to say about my grandmother. Had it not been for my grandmother, I wouldn't have been here. And I just thank her a lot for being what she was, you know, and for giving me all what I am. Ama, malagutso na be na yaw dangkulo na si Zeus maasin ni todo ni na emu gita kwaho sa sinhago tibay gaigi pa ako gwini na Tiempo mano na gai gitu. Ginin harujo, so una na yod dangkulo na si Jus maasi, jan si nanaho, ja ista kiman ali italo, upay tao, adios. Nana, you are my teacher, my leader, my elder, my language, and my strength. Nana Iquinaizaku Nana Gef Paguham Nana Ukwaiza Hamas Kada Haani Dunkulu Nasi Zuus Maasi Grandmother, my love. Grandmother, you are beautiful. I love you more with every sunrise. Thank you for being the carrier of our culture. Ugaiza hao nana. Ugaiza hao nana and I love you nana. Ugaiza hao nana. Ugaiza hao nana. A guy's a hell nana. A guy's a hell Ha <laughs> <laughs>